Bizarre files, perhaps. Medical students in Thailand are facing the prospect of a criminal prosecution after they were found cheating on an exam. But here's the thing. This is not your run-of-the-mill writing the answers on the inside of your arm and cheating. It's the sort of thing that wouldn't be out of place in a, a Hollywood spy movie. Lecturers and teachers found two pairs of glasses with a hidden camera inside the glass frame and three electronic wrist watches that were communication devices receiving answers from a command center. This is, this is incredible. Ratish Chug is a lecturer in information systems management at uh, Central Queensland University and is with us. Good evening to you. Good evening, Chris. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being on the program. As I was Googling the, these types of gadgets, they're actually more popular in Thailand than I, than I even thought. Uh, well, they're just not popular in Thailand because a simple Google search will tell you that they're being sold on popular platforms such as Amazon and eBay for as little as $50 up to 600 So they're quite easy to find, which is very unfortunate. Do you think this type of technology is on the rise and this is just the tip of the iceberg? Absolutely, Chris. I mean, last year when, I mean, I wrote an article about the use of smartwatches in an exam environment. And Massey University last year, I think must have been June, they introduced a ban on all wristwatches, which included smart and traditional watches. So now, in the last one year, what we've seen is that the cheaters are becoming more smarter. So, as you've seen in the incident in Thailand, you know, we've got spy glasses now. In mm. fact, you can also find wireless ear transmitters which are being sold online and so we, we we see students who are becoming smart cheaters and as educational institutions we don't want a loss of academic integrity so it is becoming a problem globally well how do you keep that academic integrity when you've got the rise of these types of technology gadgets it's going to have to be up to universities and polytechs to come up with smarter ways uh, to find the cheats absolutely i mean banning technology is one issue mm. and that obviously will be on the rise because as more and more educational institutions realize this problem banning of devices will take place like the ban on mobile phones you know mobile phones were banned in exams and it's the same that's going to happen with any other smart devices. But I think what will or what should also happen is the format of exams needs a good think. Maybe open book exams could help mm. combat the problem. Questions in exams that focus on critical thinking and analysis rather than rote learning. And the yes, phrasing of questions yeah. in a way that finding responses would be difficult, are some ways to combat the problem. It's kind of scary when you have these devices that are marketed specifically for cheating purposes. I mean, how do they get away with it? Absolutely. I mean, you'd be surprised if you look at the, the websites where these devices are being sold. Very openly, they say, devices for cheating in exams. And unfortunately, because you can't prohibit these devices from the Internet, there is no real way. I mean, like companies like if they're being sold on Amazon and eBay, companies that owe up no ethical responsibility for what they're selling, it's really a big problem. So how do these, some, of these, some of these devices used? I mean, we're talking about special glasses with, what, built-in transmitting devices and a separate wireless earpiece. And then you can talk to each other in some kind of secret communication way during exams. Yes. So what happens is the glass... So if you're wearing a smart glass, yes. the glass takes a picture of the exam, sends it back to someone who is outside, your associate, who gets the exam questions, and then you've got a wireless device which is in your ear, and it's almost invisible, so they can speak out the responses. Incredible and stuff. In Incredible. fact, they, I mean, if you look at the devices, there's actually a watch which, which is being marketed as an invisible watch. Now, that watch displays nothing when it's switched on, <laughs> but when, when, view, when you view the watch with special glasses that are sold with the watch, the screen becomes visible. That means if there was an exam invigilator, they wouldn't be able to see anything on your watch.
I need to get myself one of these things. Ratish Chu, nice to speak with you. Thank you very much for your time tonight. Who would have thought the long gone of the days of writing the answers on the back of your palm and sharing it with your friends? Not that, of course, they did that. Uh, Barry Soper with Politics. Moments away. It's News Talk.